Hello everyone, my name is Dee and welcome to my Pick a Card Tarot Readings channel and welcome to your reading. In this reading, we are going to explore the journey that you are on leading you towards a beautiful, divine, romantic union that you are meant to experience this life journey. We're going to look at your journey, your partner's journey, who they are and the relationship that you will share with them. There are three different images to choose from. Choose the image that stirs your soul, that really calls to you. I will start with the first image. There are timestamps listed for the others below. Hello, image number one. So we're going to pull some cards to uh, look at the planet that is currently shaping you to lead you towards this union and the planet that is currently shaping this beautiful divine soulmate leading them towards you at this time. We're going to look at both of your paths and um, you know how your paths come together and everything you guys are going through. I am going to leave which side is which open to your interpretation as this is a general reading. So let's take a look what planet is ruling you and them, shaping you both to come into union with each other. All right, right there. Okay, so one of you is working with Vesta, and the other has Mars. Okay, so you guys are definitely um, like opposites attract. One of your energies is very spiritual, very soft, um, looking for the good in things, uh, always looks to the soul. It looks through the world and perceives the world through a higher spiritual lens and understanding. And the other person in this uh, union that's coming together is under the influence of Mars where they are ambitious. They're really building themselves right now um, and they've gone through a lot of different challenges <clears throat> which has been uh, meant to really bring them into a place of personal empowerment, knowing worth, knowing value, building themselves in the physical realm. So one of you has been growing and expanding through spirituality and the other has been growing and expanding through um, really creating themselves, building themselves in the physical as well as coming into their personal empowerment. And uh, let's pull a card to look at the current area of life where you are focused, where they are focused. So Vesta is coming through with the 10th house and Mars is coming through with the 6th house. So this 10th house energy is like status, achievement and attached to the Vesta, this particular energy um, I feel at one point in time was very earth based, very material based, but there's been a number of things that have happened and played out in their journey to where it's really transformed them from like the inside out and where there was once this deep drive and determination for status, for money, for abundance, that's been transformed into this desire of a connection higher knowing, higher learning, higher understanding, um, connecting with the spirits, connecting with Mother Earth Gaia. It doesn't mean this person isn't driven to provide for themselves. It's just their focus and their draw of energy is much different 
than it was um, for most of their life. This person has gone through a transformation, um, very, very spiritual here, like this awakening, which has facilitated a great change in how they see and perceive the world. And over here with the Mars in the sixth house, this person, um, you know, is a bit of a hothead, okay, has a bit of a temper, and what they're going through right now is a lot of um, like restriction and obligation, teaching them patience, teaching them temperance of the energies inside. This person is so full of life and um, they're very driven, but I feel this is somebody who um, comes up with like a lot of ideas and they have a hard time following them all the way through like they get started but lose their mojo like halfway through the process and then just kind of scrap it and that energy at this time is not compatible with this person this person over here because of this uh, spiritual awakening there's an element of discipline and understanding of obligation and responsibility to the earthly realm as well as to the spiritual growth of you know being and over here this person is really learning and mastering that art like their temper their emotions are balancing out and they're learning how to harness all that energy um, so where they would lose their temper they would get really mad and frustrated um, through the patience they're learning how to temper that energy and funnel it towards like passion and, and betterment and drive. Um, so this person is working on a lot of emotional growth and maturity at this time. And with sixth house, um, it's like their life is very structured, very rigid right now because it, it, it's molding them into this patience, into humility. Like they're learning um, when it's time to act in great emotion and when it's time to retreat and when it's time to hold back all right they're a bit of a loose cannon um you know and and they're working on that they're tempering that and this person um so like when these energies come together this person is going to understand this person in a very special way that nobody else has because this person is so spiritually grown and it's not to say this person is not but this union when you guys come together this person is going to activate this person's soul and it's going to take this connection to a whole nother level so let's uh let's pull some cards and kind of look at both of your romantic pasts here So we have, it's complicated and compromise over here under this energy. And then we have messages and fantasizing over here for this energy. All right. So for romantic histories over here, um, this person, a lot of this spiritual activation and awakening has come through a lot of uh, trouble and turmoil in relationships, in romantic relationships. I feel this person um, is opposite of this energy where they were far too compromising to the point where they were very self-sacrificing and they got very burned in a lot of relationships and um, it's complicated to them the reason why they entertained relationships longer than they should have and and were so flexible in giving is this person um very empathic very connected into other people and through their spiritual awakening that a uh, um trait about them has only grown stronger but they've grown wiser there it's like this person there was a, a period in their life where they had no boundary to their emotion um they 
kind of like that, you know, let me save you, let me fix you, let me be your angel, let me be your hero, let me protect you, that type of energy, because they're very nurturing. Like, whether this is uh, male or female, this person's energy is very feminine to me. They're very nurturing, very giving, very loving, um, wise, empathic, but um, that has worked against them at times, and so a lot of their growth has been learning about boundary and understanding, um, you know, that ability to um, empathize and feel inside others as though it's their own is to teach them spiritually. And sometimes, even though you could feel somebody broken, this person had to learn, like, I can't fix everybody. I can't fix everybody. And in relationships, this person tend, tends to date people who are broken, who aren't over an ex, who have a lot of emotional baggage and trauma, okay? And it's just their nature. But um, that's something they had to grow and work through and really learn boundaries because I feel coming into union with this person, it would be like the same thing um, all over again because this person is tempering emotion. And when you need to temper emotion, it comes from, you know, unresolved issues of the past, right? And so this person would be inclined to want to fix and protect and make everything better for this person because they're in a very rigid, disciplined um, sort of existence right now and this person would want to come in and swoop them and save the day but because of the evolution um, if if these two met in this moment, it's like this person would say, no, you need to build yourself. You need to get it together. I can't save you. And that's exactly where this person is at right now, learning how to save themselves, learning how to build themselves. Whereas this person has been learning how to stop being that savior, that hero type of energy. And so it's interesting because um, even though this is like kind of a Vesta Mars totally opposite energies, it, it's on the same spectrum of energy. And um, both of you have been working to temper yourself, but in a different way way. So um, this person over here with messages and fantasizing, um, this individual, I feel it's not to say they haven't had any serious um, relationships, but there's been, it's been more of like an illusion, whether the illusion was in their head or, um, oh, okay. <laughs> All right. I see what that's about. This person has kind of been a player a little bit in their uh, past history. It's like this person, um, you know, if they like somebody, they'll be with them. And um, if the other person, if the person they're with is moving faster at a faster pace than they are emotionally, it's like they'll say what what's expected of them, even if they don't really feel it. So if somebody tells them, I love you first, they may say it back, not because they genuinely feel it, but because they feel like that's the right thing to say and they want to maintain <clears throat> the relationship. And so this person has kind of struggled with, you know, living up to the fantasy of others. Um, and that comes into like knowing worth and value uh, where they are lovable just the way that they are. Okay, this person feels like they need to people please, they need to say and do the right things. And um, they're being shaped and grown to become very authentic within self and harness their personal power so that they can really connect. And if somebody is moving faster in a relationship where they can say halt, slow down, that that's I'm not there yet and um, you know face that consequence of disappointing like this person has a very hard time letting other people down and because of that I feel like they end up doing it in a much bigger 
way more frequently than they ever intended to because it's like what you fear the most it happens right and so this person over here could be you know really good at self-sabotaging and uh, that that makes these energies incompatible at this time right so this person in the preparation of coming into union um, you know with this person here there's a lot of uh, maturity in the emotional body and growing up and becoming true and authentic to self whereas over here the preparation of this union is becoming um, aware of self and personal boundary regardless of love commitment or connection so let's um let's pull some more cards Okay, so we got discipline and time. So this is this is what we're working on here. Um, as we're coming, you know, every day you guys are one step closer to each other. And it, this is like the discipline. And the discipline is different for, you know, both of you, what you each are working on here. And then we have joy and music. This is talking about the authentic authenticity of self and connecting to that space over all else and now we have a change and wind and that's beautiful that's talking about how you both are transforming and changing right now in preparation of coming together of being together in a union um, you know that is gonna be very strong and we're gonna um, pull cards next to look specifically at that that union but this here is the foundation in which is bringing you guys together and what you're working on spiritually emotionally mentally and physically along the journey along the way to bring your to come into union with each other and so with this change who this person has been in past relationships and who this person has been in past relationships is not who um, we're going to be together, all right? You both are really growing and evolving here and becoming authentic to self, learning personal boundaries, learning personal empowerment, and it's about timing um, for this union to come together. So let's uh, pull these back and... Uh, get more into the uh, connection and the relationship you guys will share. <clears throat> okay, so let's see. Coming together, this union coming together. And you're like, how... You it's like the universe will just align you guys. Like there's just going to be a moment. Like it's... All right. Let's see what we have. Oh, we got Venus. Oh my gosh. And we got Chiron. I was only going to pull one. But uh, this is the planetary energy that directs the relationship, the union between the two of you when you come together. There is true love here with Venus and Chiron. That is deep healing. You both have some emotional wounds that run deep and you both are going to um, have worked a great deal of healing that wound and coming together like the love that is going to blossom and be born from your energy and their energy. I feel it's like the, the final release because you are not the same person. They are not the same person when your energies come together and combined. And with Venus, like that's true love right there. You guys are going to find true love and this connection is going to be so healing for both of you. <clears throat> Let's uh, pull some love story cards and uh, go deeper into this. Oh, wow. 
So you guys are both going to just like right from the start be like gung-ho, Cupid's arrow. Day invitation and new romance. Ooh. Okay, so for those of you that may have been wondering, is this somebody I already know? No, it is not. This is a new, brand new energy that is going to roll into your world. And you guys are going to be like magnets to each other, okay? And there's going to be a date invitation. Um, either they're going to ask you out or you're going to ask them out. It's just going to be in the moment. One of you is going to be compelled and it's just going to come out, all right? Like the universe is going to align the two of you in some place, somehow, some way. And you're going to be total strangers and you're going to look at each other and there's just going to be this draw towards each other and one of you is going to say, hey, would it, would, can I get your number or, you know, um, do you want to have a coffee or can I buy you a drink? You know, it just depends on where you are and what you're doing. This is a general read. So you all are going to be in a different space when you come into union with this person. But it's just like, boom, like right from the moment all things just like kind of fade away because we got Venus Cupid hits you both at the same time and from that first date it's on all right it is on and it's a new romance there is no hurt um, between the two of you and you both have done a lot of work to heal emotional wounds and baggage of the past so let's uh let's pull some cards to look uh, specifically at this person that's coming in and then we'll pull some tarot to dig deeper about the relationship you will share with them. Sweethearts, the honeymoon phase, they are going to be smitten over you. Eternal flame, love that never fades, no matter time and distance. You both are definitely going to think like we have loved each other in a previous life. You're going to feel that. Healing, apologies, and forgiveness. So with this healing, all right, we've got that Chiron. This to me is more about the healing love that you guys have and also if we fight if we argue it's going to be very short-lived this is a person who can't stand um going to bed angry or having tension in the air like they they really can't and that's um you know it can be a very uh great attribute but sometimes it can be frustrating right because when you're mad it takes you know your own time to get out of things but um, with this, uh, this person really doesn't like to fight, doesn't like to stay mad, and is always going to want to talk about it, is always going to want to, you know, work it out, work through it, but also the two of you, your energies for each other, very, very healing and trustworthy, dep dependable honesty. So um, this is somebody that is so honest so true um you know to a fault and i feel like in the past you know hold on let me just connect like i feel with this um with their their dependable sometimes i feel um their trustworthiness is where they've you know been there for somebody else but it was almost like a betrayal to themselves to do so, to be so. And so they've kind of struggled with that. That's a wound that they definitely um, have had to work through. But they're honest. They are true. And uh, with the sweethearts, once you guys meet, they're going to just be smitten over you. Like, um, 
even if they never wanted to fall in love again, it's going to be impossible. And you know, I just feel with this, um, there may be a little bit of fear-based energy that exists between the two of you um, because this just feels so good and, and we've been through, you know, some heavy stuff prior to coming into union with each other. Um, there may be, a, a you know, a little bit of hesitation and holding back, but um, I feel for the most part, like, you guys will overcome that very, very quickly because with this eternal flame, um, within you, within them, like, you really believe that you guys have loved before, that you've known each other in a past life because you just click, you connect so easily, so quickly. And I feel some of you um, have an ex where you um, have this amazing connection and deep, deep love and you thought, oh, that is where I always belong. But when you meet this person, oh no, like all of that just fades away. This uh, connection is so beautiful. It's true. It's pure. You guys love each other. You guys flirt. There's passion. There's silliness. Um, there's being shy. Oh yeah, look at it. We've got the Ten of Cups. Two of Swords. Nine of Cups. Wheel of Fortune. And the Hermit. Okay, um, the Wheel of Fortune is definitely a confirmation to me where Spirit is saying you don't need to worry about how you will meet this person or align to them. Like, it, it just, it will happen. Um, you know, the universe will align the two of you when it is time. And, you know, the Ten of Cups and the Nine of Cups, this to me is talking about like the long relationship that you guys will share. Like you will see each other as family. Some of you will create a family together. And Nine of Cups, there will be a lot of emotional fulfillment and satisfaction that is found within each other. And with this Two of Swords and the Hermit, um, either one or both of you is going to be single for a very long period of time before you guys come into union. Like one of you or both of you is solo. And I feel like, you know, um, two to ten years of being single um, for some of you out there. Like you, you or them or maybe both of you. And um, through that period of being single, not really being locked down or locked into any particular um, relationship or connection, um, you both grow a lot and really open up to your spirit, your soul, which brings you both into that place of authenticity, you know, because you have different lessons that you're working on that leads you, that's part of the journey towards each other. And Wheel of Fortune, the universe will align this. It absolutely will when it's time, when it's meant to happen, when it's meant to be, when you're ready, when they're ready. And it's just going to be instantaneous attraction. And you're going to have a long life and journey with each other. A lot of emotional openness and vulnerability with each other. Let's uh, look at what some of the greatest strengths are between the two of you. Got electricity with wildness yeah a lot of passion a lot of chemistry but it's more than that it's more than just like a, a physical sexual attraction it's an emotional attraction it's a mental attraction to each other it's very energetic like and you just feel alive with each other 
Now we have um, growth and plants. Yeah, you guys are going to lay roots and build um, a whole life together. And some of you are going to have kids and, you know, create a family together. Now we have protection and cave. You both are going to honor and respect the relationship and each other um, in a way that you have never experienced previously. Like you both are going to have, you know, a, a desire and an intention to preserve and protect this love, this relationship and stick it out through good, through bad, through up, through down. And endurance, rock, yes, see, there is, once this love comes together, there is nothing that could come in between it, absolutely nothing. This is going to be a very beautiful union, like this is the one for you. Um, I didn't intend these readings to necessarily bring in the one that you end up with for all of time, but just a very significant divine romantic union, and um, this in this reading, I feel this is the one for you for the rest of your days. All right, let's pull one final card. Let us be the love we seek. Let us be the change we wish to see. Let us give freely to one another without condition, for it is in giving that we receive. And this is the words of your love, the magic of your love that you will share with this person. So those are your messages. I am sending you lots of love and light. Take care. Hello, image number two. Let's get right into your reading. We're going to first start and look at the path that's leading both of you towards each other at this time, what you both are working on, who you are, and then we're going to look at your relationship when you come together and also dig a bit deeper about who this person is. I'm going to start by looking at both of your paths so you decide who is who in this reading. So we're going to start with the planet that is both guiding you at this So one of you is being guided by Pluto and the other is being guided by Neptune. All right, so uh, Neptune is in its home sign of Pisces right now and Pluto is currently in Capricorn. So uh, one of you with uh, this Pluto coming through is really going through a huge transformation at this point in their life. Um, this could include dark night of the soul type of energy, but this card says your ability to transform, take a big leap forward and rebirth. So this person to me really feels like they're rebuilding themselves um, from a great loss or they've had this big awakening inside of themselves, which has caused them to really pull away from a lot of what they've known and kind of start stepping into the unfamiliar. And all of this is leading them to be more authentic to who they are. This person may have felt like they were in a cage and now it's like they're bursting free of that. And over here, with Neptune, this person is working on truly realizing the calling of their heart, the calling of their soul, where they belong um, in this life, their place in this universe, what they should be doing, getting very in tune. Also, this person very create like creative um, could have like a, an ability to sing or write or paint, draw act um they just possess some beautiful gift okay um that's quite unique and they're amazing at it and right now they're really learning to um, embrace their emotions and express them in a healthy proper way and come into their dreams of who they want to be what they really want to experience in this life and over here 
we're rebuilding. All right, so let's uh, pull a house card for both sides. And this is the primary area of focus in life at this time of the reading. All right, so with Pluto, we have sixth house energy. And with Neptune, we have first house energy. And this makes perfect sense. Um, over here with the Neptune in that first house, who am I? What am I? Where do I belong? Why am I here? You know, what is the true calling of my soul, of my spirit? This person, I feel, um, has lived a lot of their life to, um, living up to, like, ideas, dogma, the status quo, what is expected, a very rigid and strict upbringing. And now they're coming into their own, really embracing who they are and like pulling that part of themselves from the inside out. And that's who they're becoming, which is a beautiful, deep soul. And over here, Pluto in the sixth house. Um, this person, there was a lot about their life that had to change. A lot of patterns of behavior, um, just ways of going about doing things, um, different beliefs, different habits. Like this person here is uh, learning to become disciplined and not give in to temptation. Um, really rebuilding themselves and becoming something that they can be proud of. I don't feel this person is super proud of who they were in the past. It doesn't mean like they were a terrible, bad person. Um, this could be like, I wish I was stronger. I had more emotional strength. I wish I would have walked away from this situation or said this or done that. So this person is like um, rebuilding a, a, like a shattered past but through that rebuilding transforming into somebody entirely brand new the phoenix rising up from the ashes let's pull some cards and look at um, your guys's romantic history so like your dating history and their dating history all right so um this flew out so both of you have been through a lot of challenging connections in romantic relationships since that flew out as I started shuffling so okay so feelings ignited and second chances mutual attraction and our love story okay so you guys have kind of gone through the same exact thing here and you know we're going to pull more cards um, but for some of you this might actually be a reconciliation this person but um, we'll hold off on the final decision of that till we get deeper in but for your uh, dating history both of you I feel um, have been in a very serious relationship that was quite complicated and um, over here it's like this person is my one once my feelings were ignited they never died and like a second chance so this person has gone through a serious relationship where it was like um, you know over and then back on over and then back on over and then back on and that might be part of this major transformation and picking up the pieces of the past was the choice to finally let this relationship go because it was in and out in and out in and out and over here um, is a very similar situation but something that just came to me is this person may have actually um, like they might be a widow this person they may have um, had their significant other transition back into the non-physical okay and and they've struggled to uh, figure out who they are without that relationship okay so some of you this person it's like the widow I feel that and it doesn't have to mean like they're old or anything it's just that um, I don't know that's the way spirit brought it to me is like losing a partner and then um, others it's like they've been through a very similar situation as this where you know they got with somebody 
and they thought, you know, this is my one forever and always. And this other person was telling them, yes, you're my one, we're meant to be. But it was a very challenging, complicated situation where it's like back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And this person may now be trying to figure out who they are without that relationship as well. So there's a, a similarity um, in, in the relationship. And now um, for some of you, this may be where you guys have been together before but it just couldn't work out like it was back and forth back and forth and you guys had a major break and and severing of ways which means we've been apart for quite some time all right so let's uh pull some cards and uh see if it, what's uh taking place to lead you towards each other So we have um, solitariness, the desert. So um, this coming through is talking about, um, you know, either you both are going to be single for a while before coming into union because, um, you know, you were both in this very significant partnership that didn't happen. And it, it's taken you both a minute to really get back on your feet and figure out who you are without this person. Um, or this is talking about those those of you who have been separated from this person for a very long time. Next is clarity and mountain. So being single or being separated is to bring forth clarity, to bring forth awakening over here. Who am I truly? Over here, I'm going to rebuild myself and rise and, and get out of this restriction. And then lastly, wildness with electricity. So there is a lot of uh, passion, okay, um, that's running through you, that's running through them. And when you guys come together, it's going to be like electricity that you have never experienced before. All right. So right now, the path that leads towards each other is truly being single, being in your own energies, whether this is a reconciliation or somebody brand new coming into your life. It's like, we need time apart and we need time alone and on our own to discover self, to rebuild self, um, major transformation happening in both people here. All right, so uh, let's pull these cards away and take a look at um, when you guys come together and how that happens and, you know, dig deeper into who this person is. I do feel um, like some of you, like uh, like a third of you, this is a reconciliation and then for the rest of you, it's a brand new person and you guys just um, have had very, very similar dating histories, um, which caused a big change to take place in both of you um, at the ending of that relationship so coming together let's see which planetary energy is the primary influence of your connection of your love union with this person oh look at that we've got venus so this is definitely a true love all right mutually with venus being the uh, planet ruling this connection the primary energy you guys are going to have a deep love for each other, a lot of passion, a lot of wonderful chemistry uh, between the two of you. So let's pull some more cards. Forgiveness, soulmate, 
add compromise. Okay, so the forgiveness, um, that's pretty straightforward for those of you who are reconciling. And for others of you, what that forgiveness means is there is a forgiveness that needs to take place in your heart, in their heart for what of relationships of the past and then also those of you where I feel like somebody became single because you know their partner transitioned they went through a phase where they were very angry with spirit you know for that loss so forgiveness is a big key in um, leading you guys towards each other and that's forgiveness of past hurts in relationship or forgiveness of spirit or forgiveness of each other if you know we're coming back together in a reconciliation all right um, those of you where this is going to be a reconciliation you and this person are going to be separated for quite some time like six months five years ten years okay it's going to be a, a long period of separation and here at the soulmate that connection at the soul is what brings you guys back together okay and we have to come up with a compromise um of what's acceptable what's not acceptable when we come back together in union and now those of you where this is a new person that forgiveness you know isn't attached to each other but to the circumstances that played out before you come into union and so you both are working on that and then when you meet it's like the soulmate you see um, the divinity in each other's eyes like you have a, a recognition of something more that exists between the two of you and I feel one of you is sworn off to ever fall in love again because of what they've been through in the past but with this compromise it's like the connection is just too strong and um, it's like you guys can't pull away from each other after you meet so let's go deeper into this other person's energy and see who they are grateful heart recognition and appreciation this person has a very sweet heart um, looming snooping and spying there's somebody who is going to be looking at your social media and watching from afar um, selfish love connection for personal gain so this person has experienced um, being taken advantage of being manipulated and satisfied passionate lovers okay so if this is somebody that you're reconciling with, um, you view them as being very selfish and um, only caring about their own feelings and, and their needs and their wants and, you know, what they're going through. And um, <clears throat> now if this is a new person, um, to me that selfish love is like that's what they had. Like they were in love with somebody who was very selfish and self-serving and it's taken quite a bit for them to recover from that. Um, if we're broken up, this person's going to always be watching you from afar. Um, if this is a new person, after you meet, they are going to be looking at your social media kind of, and if they're at your house, they might be like looking around. Like, I don't feel like they're going, like getting into drawers and stuff, but they pay a lot of attention to detail. And if like somebody calls you on your phone, um, when they're there, they're going to listen to what you're saying. Um, again, it's not like they're trying to invade privacy. I just what they've been through um, it, it just it's gonna take them a little bit to fully get comfortable in a new connection but they will and satisfied um, over their passionate lovers they're they know how to handle things between the sheets all right they know what they're doing and your pleasure and satisfaction is very important to them through your satisfaction they receive pleasure and with a grateful heart this person does have a big beautiful heart they're very appreciative okay um and they're wide open when they feel safe this person is just so beautiful and precious 
all right um they're they're good and if this is where we're coming back together this selfish love like that's something they're working on through your separation okay it is realizing um how they took things for granted and how they manipulated energies okay so let's um pull some tarot cards and look deeper at the love relationship that you guys will share Two of Wands, Two of Cups, Page of Pentacles, Knight of Cups, and Five of Pentacles. All right, so Two of Wands. To me, um, that's definitely like soulmate energy, okay, coming together. You feel complete with each other. Two of Cups, that's emotional connection, okay? So you got the soul connection, Two of Wands, the emotional connection, Two of Cups, and the Page of Pentacles, the uh, commitment in the physical realm that you guys make of, with each other, Nine of Cups, for love, okay? A commitment of love that you both offer each other. And this Five of Pentacles... Um, I do believe there's a lot of fear-based energy around, like, rejection, okay? So, um, I feel like you guys around each other, but it may take a little bit longer than normal for you guys to express the, the L word, I love you, okay? Um, it's like you guys just have this understanding, and for a long time, neither one of you need that talk or that expression we're just spending time together we're enjoying each other's company the chemistry the electricity the connection is enough all right and i feel you both kind of hold back on that full expression out of fear of rejection initially all right but there is the connection of the soul the connection of the emotions which leads to a commitment of love. And starting out as the Page of Pentacles, um, for those of you that this is a reconnection, this is going to be a much different journey with each other than what you've experienced in the past because there's going to be a lot of emotional growth and maturity that takes place before you guys come back together in union. And, you know, those of you where this is a brand new connection, that's what this Page of Pentacles is significant of, this new connection of soul, of heart, and, and it's starting out and it's going on a long journey. Um, and also with that Five of Pentacles, I feel one of you might be uh, more financially well off than the other, and that might cause a little intimidation, and that might cause um, the one who doesn't have as, as much resources materially may fear like um, I'm not good enough or um, I don't want them to think I'm just after them for what they have. Okay, so that could be some of the hesitation. But this is a true equal mutual love that just takes a little bit of time to be expressed out of some fear. But once it's expressed, it's solid. And um, it just, you guys begin your journey, your journey of love. All right, let's pull some cards to see the strongest strengths, the strengths of this love. All right, so we've got change with wind. Um, your guys' relationship is going to be able to weather any storm, truly, with this card. Attraction. 
Um, you guys are like magnets towards each other, all right? You see that here with the Two of Wands and the Two of Cups. And it's not just, you know, spiritual chemistry and emotional chemistry. It's a lot of physical chemistry as well. And, and we see that there with the Satisfied card. Next is Light, the Sun. Oh my goodness. Um, this relationship is so illuminating for you so healing for both of you and there is going to be nothing but honesty in this connection with this card okay like the greatest strength comes through honesty no matter what i have to say i'm going to tell you the truth and you're both just in that space with each other um but also the sun with the light um this is a beautiful soul connection that i feel other people will be envious of and lastly fury with the bushfires. Um, so you got the wind of change and the fury with the bushfires. This relationship will truly be able to weather any storm or circumstance. All right. This is true love, real love at its finest. And it's not always pretty, right? But the connection you guys share, you truly will be able to weather any storm with each other. This is what everybody wants. Um, this kind of love. It's beautiful. All right, let's pull one final message for you. Positive and loving thoughts are instrumental in creating positive, loving relationships. Fear and doubt only serve to create greater uncertainty. Think more about what is right in your relationship and less on what you think is wrong. And I feel this is kind of what you both are working on right now of relationship of the past that really screwed you both up. Or if this is where we're going to reconcile, um, you both are transforming in the mental body about your perception of the relationship, what happened and what it means to both of you. All right. So those are your messages. I am sending you lots of love and light. Take care. Hello, image number three. Let's get right into your reading. We're going to first look at the current path you're on, as well as this other person that you're meant to come into a divine union with, and then we'll dig deeper into who they are specifically and the relationship you will share with them. So um, I will pull cards for each of you. You determine which side is speaking about you and speaking about them. All right, let's see which planetary influence is primarily guiding you and them at this time. All right, so one of you is being guided by Mars, and the other is being guided by Jupiter. So this is a similar pull to the first reading, actually. So if you were pulled between one and three, uh, you chose right. Okay, so right here, Mars, this person is really coming into their own, um, really building themselves. I feel strongly like career based right now, this person, like finding their footing, finding their grounding, finding their voice, learning of their personal empowerment, very ambitious right now. They're in a, a deep creation and building mode of the environment around them. And over here with Jupiter, this person is coming into a place of spiritual expansion and consciousness as well as reward of past energies and efforts in life, okay? So you both are in very, very different places in life right now, um, building and growing self. And here, consciousness expansion that comes after a long journey and the rewards that are also received in that process okay so let's uh pull a card and look at which area of life you are primarily focused and they are primarily focused over here definitely looks like building themselves all right 
we have first house over here and we have a fifth house over here all right so first house and Mars have something in common and that is Aries Aries rules the first house and Aries is ruled by Mars so um, primary focus yeah this person is all about building themselves right now um, if there if there's any romance in their life it's very casual um, this person is very ambitious and very focused on like building growing making money getting established and over here this person is getting much more in tune with their spiritual side um, and I feel this person is already a bit spiritually based but now this person's really coming into their own um, like this person but in a spiritual sense really discovering their core really tapping into like their natural abilities and gifts and this energy just kind of feels like Ah, very flowing very harmonious and this energy is like really busy okay I feel this person is more in a place to come into union romantically at this time than this person is um, this person very focused in the 3d this person more focused in the 5d at this time all right so let's uh, pull some cards to look at the romantic um, dating history of both of you because that definitely plays a part into the path that leads you towards each other right where you've been is uh you know steps on the journey of to of where you're trying to get to where you're going and where you guys are going is towards each other so let's see what past you both have romantically All right, so we have a soulmate and love yourself over here and regret and falsity. Okay, so you guys <clears throat> actually have a very similar past as far as your dating experiences go. Over here, I think this person got in the mode of building self, making money, because they had a soulmate. Well, they, you know, believed this person was a soulmate that uh, really left them high and dry because we have love yourself here. It's like this past relationship this person had sucked so much away from them that when it ended and it was over, they felt completely empty and lost. And so they made the decision of, I'm going to put myself first. I'm going to focus on me. You know, nobody's going to touch my heart. Screw love. I'm not interested in that. I got burned. I'm going to um, just build myself. I'm going to experience life in a different capacity. I'm going to just do me. I'm going to work on me and worry about me and not worry about the rest. And it's not to say this person is selfish. This person just really kind of put a wall around themselves when it comes to um, connecting deeply in a romantic sense because who they thought was their one really left them um, feeling confused and empty and took a lot, took advantage of them. And they didn't realize that until the relationship was over, like how much was sucked away from them. Um, like I feel they were constantly trying to please this person you know spent a lot of money on them um always trying to build them up always trying to make them feel good it's like this person existed in the shadow of their past relationship and after that was over they were like you know what screw that no more i'm focusing on me i'm doing me and then over here we have regret and falsity so this person um the relationship that's coming through the strongest for their past is somebody who also did them dirty but in the like ending of the relationship I feel um, that this person their person came back to them like this relationship went back and forth back and forth and ultimately um, whereas this person felt they didn't have uh, any power it um, you know in the relationship 
ending and being gone this person feels like they have more power in this relationship ending like um, it feels like this was kind of like an up and down up and down in and out in and out type of relationship this person had and um, finally when this person had enough and was like you know what I'm done I'm walking away I'm tired of the false city that exists within you that person tried to work it out I regret this I'm sorry please forgive me but it was like nope done I'm over it so you both have had a very significant relationship in your past. Um, it did hurt you both, like the ending of these relationships. Um, but here, this person experienced a lot of spiritual evolution from this relationship and the ending of it. And over here, this person got much more focused on self and building self due to the ending of their relationship. So let's pull some cards to look at what must be achieved before the two of you come into union. All right, so we have darkness in the moon. And so, um, you know, that's this is very obvious for this where, you know, there was a lot that was lost and this person kind of built a wall around themselves and they need to overcome that, really heal those energies. Next, we have to make equal the equator. So um, this is like a tempering of energies, of emotion, of mind, of spirit. And this is something you both are working on, okay? Regardless of if this is you or this is you. Um, what we've been through in our past romantically, definitely distorted energies, more so over on this side. Over here, I feel this person has more regret. Like, why did I put up with that for so long, for as long as I did? And over here, this person didn't realize they were in a bad relationship until it was over. And then it, they become very angry and frustrated about, you know, um, how much they were taken advantage of. All right. So you both are working to temper and balance your energies. And then wildness, electricity. And so you both have to also come into a place of truly desiring love and romance once again. And, you know, you are like, no, I do want romance. That's why I'm watching this reading. But um, regardless of which side you fall on, there is still, um, it's like a thought of, well, if love shows up, fine. But I'm not going to go out of my way to let it in okay so you both have a bit of a wall around your heart for different reasons over here much stronger than over here but it's like you both need to um, have that part of you activate again that desires letting yourself go and being vulnerable and open and experiencing love and and creating love with somebody new because um over here, I feel it's like, uh, I don't want to dispense the energy. Like, there's so much more to life than just romance. And over here, they just really feel like a lot was stolen from them, taken from them by this relationship. And so they're pushing love away for a whole different reason, all right? So it's like... Um, the darkness needs to be healed. The energies need to be tempered and balanced. And that desire, that spark for union has to come to like a, a full blaze, like a whole fire um, within. So let's uh, pull these cards back and look at the two of you when you come together. And what that looks like and how that happens. Let's look at the planet 
that is guiding your love and your union when you come together. Ooh, look at that. You guys got Mars coming through. The first two were Venus. And you guys are the third, and you got Mars, so I like that Venus Mars. This here, woo, you guys are going to have a lot of passion, a lot of chemistry between the two of you. Okay, the energy in this connection is high, and um, I do feel like it could be a double edged sword because this is like when it's good, it is out of this world. But when you guys fight, um, you guys are going to fight because you both have very strong-willed personalities, all right? So it's like um, a whole battle when you guys are arguing and disagreeing. But um, I feel uh, the connection and the, the fire on the other side of that is much, much stronger. Um, you guys are going to build a lot with each other, both very ambitious, like traveling adventure let's do this let's do that let's experience this let's try this so you guys um there's a lot of activity um that will happen in this relationship um it's seeing the world together i keep feeling like a lot of travel with each other and a lot of passion and chemistry my goodness let's pull some more cards So outside influences, power couple. I'm not surprised to see this with all that crazy energy right there. Crazy in a good way. And then a magic moment. Nice. All right. So the way that you meet this person is going to be through a mutual connection somehow, some way, okay? So this could be where you are going to a friend's wedding and you just happen to meet somebody that's in the bridal party or just another guest that's in attendance. Um, you could be going to just like a regular party. Um, this could be uh, like you're going out for drinks with coworkers and they invite some people that they know. It's something like that. Or this could be straight up where you have a friend that says, oh my gosh, I have the perfect person for you type of situation. It's just there's some mutual connection that you guys have that's going to bring you together with this outside influence, okay? It's like other people have an influence of bringing you together. And here with the power couple, that's the Mars energy all day long, all right? You guys um, have a lot of ambition, a lot of passion for life, for living, for goals, for achievement, and you're going to build a lot together. You're going to build an empire. You're going to be a power couple here. And with Magic Moment, um, your chemistry, your connection is going to feel magical. There's a part of you that activates and a part of them that activates when you guys are, are together that never would otherwise. You are going to be their greatest strength. They're going to be your greatest strength, okay? You guys are going to encourage each other. And even though I do feel like a lot of love and connection, this isn't like kid glove, really sensitive, let's walk on eggshells. You guys aren't like that with each other. This is a very blunt, straightforward type of communication and connection that you will share. There's no sugar coating. Um, you both just feel so strong and alive and, and coming together like you're a perfect match for each other, okay? You both have big personalities, very strong energies. Let's pull some cards to look specifically at this person that you are going to align with. Uh, 
Ugh, I'm not surprised to see that. They uh, love adventure, outdoorsy and physically active. Nate, or, oh, look at that natural love. Two hearts who only desire each other. This person is very, very committed. Um, continue or replay, same outcome as before. Don't bother. Yeah, they've been through some stuff in their relationships of the past and looming, snooping and spying. Okay, so this person loves to travel, loves to hike, camp, um, outdoorsy. Think of it, they love to do it, okay? Their energy is go, 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 go. But with this natural love, they are very true. When they get committed in a relationship, they are in 100%, all right? And they will go through crap. Um, they will. It's like once they fall in love and make a decision to commit, it's like I will stick this out and I will make it successful no matter what it takes, all right? Um, but with that continual replay, the reason why this person has also kind of like blocked their heart from love, because we did see that on both sides, is because they're tired of the same old thing. They haven't been able to meet somebody who can truly keep up with their energy, with their pace, that can truly understand them, all right? And with this looming and uh, snooping and spying, they are a bit suspicious, okay, and a little untrusting. So this is somebody who is going to try to look through your phone or you know just things like that just because they've been played in the past and they don't want that to happen again they really don't because they are true to the core they are honest to a fault and we saw that where there's no sugar coating there's no eggshell walking it's like truth the whole truth and nothing but this is a very straightforward connection and that's why you guys are going to be a power couple because you can truly count on each other it's like there's these different compartments to your relationship that you guys will have where it's like in one aspect we're lovers in another aspect we're friends in another aspect it's like we're business partners and business partners is building a successful life with each other or creating a business with each other all right um and it's like if there's trouble in the the uh you know romantic part of the connection it's not going to impact the business connection that you have okay or the friend it's like you guys just have a, a respect for each other and a level of maturity for each other um, you guys don't have to be earth signs but um, that's just the energy I'm feeling from both of you is just that stability and that strength and that determination um, so strong in both of you let's pull some tarot and look more at the relationship you guys will share Temperance, Knight of Wands, Three of Wands, The Tower, and Ace of Wands. All right, so you got a lot of Wands energy. That goes back to this Mars, all this passion and uh, drive and ambition and chemistry that exists between the two of you um, with temperance you two really balance each other out um, it's like people that have known you all your life and known that person all their life when they see you two together they're gonna be like yeah that's your perfect match like I never thought you would find somebody that is your perfect but oh my gosh like there's not a more perfect person for you. That's just how um, the people around you see the two of you together. You are so perfectly matched. Knight of Wands. That talks about that really fast moving energy of this connection and also a lot of fireworks and passion in the bedroom. And the Three of Wands, this is the type of love that you both have desired, okay? And it shocks you 
it coming in the ace of wands ending it it's like this is the start of a beautiful long journey um, because you have the ace so also this is a brand new person this is not somebody that you've been with before okay and um the first reading was brand new love. The second reading was the potential of a reconnection. And now this third reading, this is somebody brand new. And this is somebody who is going to just sweep you off your feet. Uh, it's never going to be a dull moment with this person. And they don't feel like it's ever a dull moment with you. And it just takes you so much by surprise how well matched, how suited you are for each other and the beautiful life that you guys create with each other and just the way it all unfolds. It's lovely and you guys are going to um, just build this empire, like travel the world, big things, like making boss moves. You guys aren't to be messed with. It's like uh, people look to you guys like relationship goals a lot of envy it's because you guys aren't only just this like strong powerhouse in the physical realm the love and connection and respect and admiration you have for each other is so genuine and real like there's no competition there's no jealousy here you know um when there's two very ambitious people that come together in a romantic union there can tend to be some rivalry and some jealousy but there's none of that like you truly push each other into your greatness your highest potential and when you are succeeding your partner is so genuinely happy for you and vice versa like you guys are beautiful never stop loving each other your love your strength and what you create truly can inspire many many people um this is a, a such a rare relationship which you guys have are unique and both of you are very unique people i might add um and i just keep going back to where it's like your friends and family are are saying to you, you two are truly made for each other. Like, it's just such a perfect match. You give me hope that there's love for me out there type of energy. All right. So let's uh, pull some cards to look at the greatest strengths of this connection. Silence, snow. This is amazing. Um, this talks about the strength of your connection. This is not somebody where um, you guys have to constantly be messaging each other, constantly calling each other. Your connection is such that you feel each other. There's an empathic, a telepathic connection to where you can express each other to each other without saying a word. To each other that's pretty deep not a lot of people can achieve that next is attraction yes a lot of chemistry between the two of you a lot of passion um, you guys are gonna have good sex I'll say that um, depth and like and look at that that is the strength of your connection that's emotion that's spirit that's soul right there um, you guys run deep and that's why we don't always need words to feel each other, to know what the other one is thinking and feeling and trying to express because um, your connection runs so deep. And wildness, electricity, yes, a lot of passion um, and a lot of will and desire to build and create with each other this lifetime. All right, this is a very special connection. This is truly your one. All right, um, anything you've experienced in the past, oh no, this right here is just going to blow you away, sweep you off your feet. This is your perfect match. All right, let's pull one final message.
In order to cope with separation from a loved one, we need to realize that spiritually we are always connected to those we love. Neither distance nor time can separate that which is united by love. And that is such a perfect message about your empathic and telepathic connection that you guys will have. Wow. All right. So those are your messages. I am sending you lots of love and light. Take care.